my channel i hope you all are doing good today we are going to discuss about group creation so there is a simple way you can create a group by using a gui method if i want to create a group in south africa i can simply right click on south africa ou or i can right click on this uh, blank space and click on new tab and here you can see the group so you, by entering here all users the group name and group scope is global and group type is security you can create okay all users is already exist we will just say test so this group is created okay so this is how you can create a group but if you want to create a group or multiple groups using powershell script or powershell cmd let how will you proceed with that so simple i am going to create a group by using a powershell command and after that we will see how to create multiple groups by using a powershell script it's a very simple script you can use anywhere so let me just open cmd let and type new hyphen ad group so here i i need to enter the name of the group i'm going to enter name of the group like a uh, test all users so this group i am going to create and uh, i need to select the type of the group for an example what in what in, in what category do i need to create that group so need to select group category group category parameter this is mandatory parameter whenever you are going to create a group so in gui method also you you will be able to see that the distribution and security type was there category was there so you need to select which type of group or which category in uh, which category do you want to create that group so i am selecting here security and after that there is a scope group scope property which we need to select so i am going to select here global again next i want to set up a display name for this group i am going to set up a same name test hyphen all users this will be my groups display name okay sorry test uh, all iphone users this will be my security group display name okay so this is how we can create group once i execute this this will create a group but before that i need to set up a path i for this group where do i need to create that group so you can simply check any available group path in the particular ou get ad group identity domain admins uh, okay all users i want to create this group under the same ou where the all users is exist so under europe ou okay i'm just co going to copy that path copy in double inverted comma i need to enter because there is a space i believe okay once i execute this command this will create a single group okay so let me execute it quickly executed there is no error message you just go back to the console where we created that group we created under europe folder europe organizational unit you will be able to find this test all users group has been created now the scenario is we have received a list of groups which needs to be created in different different ou so we received this excel file csv file okay oh, where we can see name of the group path of the group where we want to create and scope category and description okay these details we have received from the requester he uh, that requester wants to create five groups on five different location 
okay you can see here all europe users under europe ou all asia users under asia ou all australia users under australia ou likewise so how can we proceed with that we can create a simple script to create these groups okay so how we can proceed with that okay let me just close and quickly open that powershell isc with fresh window and here we go so what we will need to do we will need to use for each loop to create multiple groups okay so what i am going to do here i am going to import that csv file first we need to import that csv file so going to import csv there is a command called import csv what is the path of that file on c users administrator desktop on desktop that file is exist okay if you simply execute this command this will shows you the contents in that file contents available in that file i am not able to see uh, in format table so what i can do i can just simply type here ft so i will be able to see that in format table see these are the details i can see in that file name path scope category and description okay so i need to store this information in variable in order to create groups okay i am just going to create one variable called groups okay because there are multiple groups that's why i am mentioned i am i have mentioned groups okay now we need to start for each loop okay so how we can go ahead we can just type here for each in bracket you can select one group from the list in groups variable okay whatever groups available in groups variable but i am selecting first group in that groups list okay and after that we need to start our action so here what we are going to do we are going to create a array to store multiple properties okay so how we will create that uh, array we can store uh, create a array and store all the information in one more variable called groups property okay is equal to at the rate curly bracket so what will happen whatever information we are entering here under this array will store in that variable dollar groups pro pro means property okay so first property what is there name property is there right in our csv what is their name okay so we want to get this property and store in name property okay so i want to use this whatever contents under this name uh, column that that needs to be stored or that needs to be used as a name property while creation of groups okay so i am just going to use that name property okay so as we saw earlier that when we executed one command called uh, get ad user ad u ad group sorry ad group identity all users all users see i can see name property here group scope group category and distinguished name these are the properties where i want to store what is saved in this array okay so we will first use name property and in name property what we need to use we need to use whatever stored for group 1 group 1 which is i have selected here in this variable 1 what is there dot name the here we can see name name is there right 
what is the uh, what we can say the name of the column that column name is name that's why i'm going to select first name of this group okay after that next will be a path okay okay so what will be the path of that group so we can select what is stored in group dot path okay for group scope what we can select whatever stored in group variable under scope next group category that is a mandatory one okay so here group category is stored under category for this group variable next will be description so what is the property of description name you can see here description is not available to see here because we need to use hyphen properties star so that we will be able to see the description property see here description property right so that's why in description what we are going to use we are going to use description property whatever stored for this variable the escri pti value okay now so based on the array we are going to create a group but here whatever stored in this array will be used for command called new ad group okay so in curly bracket only after array after ending array we need to use new ad group based on the array stored under under groups proper groups property okay whatever stored in this array will get used for this command new ad group let me just clear the screen and you can simply execute this command this will shows you successful right you can see here there is no error message and you can just simply go back and verify whether those groups are created or not refresh i can see all users all euro users is created if you go to the australia all australia users asia you will be able to see all asia you can just simply validate those by executing that variable groups so this is the variable which we have used to store see okay that is not showing you in format table see all europe users all asia users all australia users all north america users all russia users so likewise you can create multiple groups if you receive to create hundreds of groups so you can simply ask requested to fill this information and based on that you can customize your script and create multiple groups okay i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys i am going to put this content in my chat window or description window so that you can simply copy that in uh, copy this script and you can use in your environment okay thank you guys